Hey guys, Jamie here from Real Steel. Uh, today's project, we are going to be tearing into the 90 Dodge that's blown up, and uh, we're going to see if we can get the motor out of it. So let's get started. All right, y'all. We're going to start with, uh, I'm going to time lapse y'all, because y'all see me do this a million times. Uh, we're going to pull the front clip off of it, and then we'll get to the engine accessories and all that. I want to leave the uh, AC system hooked up completely because when I got this thing, it actually kicked on. So I don't want a bunch of contaminants and stuff, you know, release into the air and all that. Plus, I'd like to keep it sealed because I'm thinking about using this whole heater box in my daily driver because I'd like to put air back on that and the heater course shot anyway. So anyway, that's enough of me yapping. Uh, let's get started.
Man, y'all, we got the front clip off, but man, some of those bolts were just a flat pain. Yeah, man, they just were crazy. Uh, like this door bolt here, I could only get a wrench on there. I tried to get a big ratchet, but nope, that's not happening. And then there was this uh, inner fender bolt down there somewhere. Oh, there he is, I think. Yeah, right there. Also could only get with a wrench easily, but yeah. So I went ahead and decided to pull the radiator. Uh, it's a pretty good little aluminum unit that my buddy put in there. And I just didn't want to destroy it. It's going to go into four-wheel drive. Minus the flexi hose, of course. But yeah. But anyway, not as far as I wanted to get, but we're still rolling. I'm going to take a quick break and uh, we'll see where we're at uh, here in a little while. Otherwise, we'll pick her back up tomorrow. Same video. y'all i decided to keep going i figured why not turn on the classic rock and uh go from there but i see tom foolery that's not supposed to be there that's supposed to be a bolt and look at that thing that thing is i don't know if you can see it well that thing is crooked as a dog sign leg and that nut they put on there only had like one thread on it so yeah then there was this abomination i don't know what happened there but yeah shop's been in here Tom foolery, but I'm gonna shut her down for tonight. Uh, we'll pick this bad boy back up tomorrow where we can hopefully get this mill out of here and see what happened to her. So stick around. All right, y'all, it's another day, a couple days later. Uh, well, y'all weren't looking. I went ahead and pulled the Y pipe, shift linkage, and some of the underneath stuff. I was gonna go back and forth about leaving the transmission in but i think i'm just going to pull it all out as one so that'll just hopefully make things easier worst case i throw a jack under it who knows but we'll get her out of there uh now i'm going to put on some more jams and more time lapse and we'll get the top side stuff off uh just start up front here power steering air cleaner hose heater hoses all that stuff and we'll get this puppy ready to come out of here so let's keep going
struggle and a half. Uh, there's some power steering kind of struggle pump getting it out, had to wrench a bolt. And then that last bolt I had to do was a bell housing bolt because this weird U-shaped fuel pump line hold bracket was on there. And the only way to get that off was with a box end wrench. Yeah, box end wrench backwards. And there was no room to get your fingers in there. Yeah, really great design. But we got her out, so no issues there. Uh, next, I think we're going to pull the motor mount bolts. I'll do that off camera. There's really nothing to see there. And we'll hook this up and yank her out of there. But that'll probably be tomorrow since it's getting a little late and I've struggled all day. So hang around and we'll, for you guys, that'll be a couple seconds. For me, that'll be about 24 hours or less. Actually less. So hang on. All right, y'all, it's the next day. While y'all aren't looking, I went ahead and pulled the drive shaft and a couple other miscellaneous things and jacked the transmission up. Uh, let's pull this puppy. Hopefully, we don't got to take the cross member out for the transmission, but we'll see. Uh, let's get going. Let's recenter it. Up a little more. Okay, that's all I got on my jack. All right, oil pans on the cross member. comes all right uh, fuel lines clear cables clear it's all clear good uh oh we messed up we got the trans lines caught oh well they can be rebent or one got caught it can be rebent no biggie there we go. There she comes. Boy, she wants to come out now. All right. I like it. Dang it, we're losing a little trans fluid, but hopefully I can... Alright. Yeah, we're losing some trans fluid, dang it. I'm hoping that thing's drained enough. Not losing too much. Alright. jack out of there before we run over the jack.
know you want to. All right. Let me. Don't you go back in there. like that counterweight's hitting on some stuff. There we go. Now, stymie that fluid. I'm just going to let it down and put a jack under it. Gantall. Gantall. Whoa, baby. There we go. Okay, it's not dripping as much. Uh, yeah. What I'm going to do now, maybe, is I'm going to get a block of wood in my jack and see if I can snap the transmission up a little further. Give me just a little bit and we'll reset. All right, y'all, I just went ahead and knocked the yoke out of the old drive shaft. Let's get this puppy out of there. Boy, she's being stubborn. All right, I didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to get the truck behind it and pull it all the way out. All right, we got her, y'all. I'm gonna clean up here, reset, set her down, and go to the next step. 
All right, y'all. She is out. Uh, man, she's a greasy specimen. I have not had a greasy one like that in a while. But, well, maybe I have. I don't know. But, yeah, oil leaks, all that. Now, one thing that did surprise me is this is not a 518 transmission. See the straight pan there by the dipstick? Uh, this is a A500, which is a 904 base. Uh, 518s have a, a kick out by the dipstick there. So, yeah, I uh, don't know. I would have, you know, this being a 250 and all that, I would have expected a 518. But, yeah. With Mopar, you never know, and I should have known when I redid the wiring harness when I first got the truck, it had a lockup, and generally first-year 518s did not, and 1990 was the first year for 518s, so yeah. So we got a 500, so I'm not too worried about it, you know, saving it and all that, but, you know, it's here if it's got a core. I mean, I got one in that Ram Charger that's unknown, so yeah, but she's out. Now, for this truck, I've got to pump the gas tank yet, and uh, then I'm going to kick it out back after a couple other things. Uh, not really sure what's going to happen with it. Uh, it's probably just going to be a parts truck, you know, so yeah. But anyway, off camera, I'm going to get this transmission and transmission unbolted and get this engine on a stand and get ready for an autopsy next video but anyway i hope you enjoyed this one and this is jamie from real steel auto works and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side see ya